Hi there and welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. It's Mr Hegarty here and in this video we're continuing with our transformations work and we're going to talk about reflections. So what do you need to know? Well you need to be able to do the following, reflect a shape given a line, reflect a shape when when given an equation of a line. So here we'd actually be drawn the line. Here we'd only be given the equation. And lastly, we'd need to describe a reflection. So in this video, I'm going to do the first two. So in this video. And in the next video, I'm going to describe reflections, okay? Right, so a bit of a recap. What are transformations in general? Well, hopefully you keep remember, I keep saying this, the word transformer from the film transformer means to change your shape in some way. And there are four types. Rotations, we've done videos on that. Translations, we've done videos on that. In this video, we're going to do reflections. And lastly, there are enlargements. Now, what are reflections? Reflections are basically when you flip a shape in a mirror line. So in order to perform a reflection, you need a mirror line and you need an original shape, the object, and you flip that shape in the mirror line and you get uh, the um, image shape. Okay, so let's do a few examples to see what's going on. Imagine we're asked to reflect shape C in the dotted mirror line. Okay, there are two ways to do this. Um, I'm going to show you perhaps a way with tracing paper so it will help you when the line is not a vertical or horizontal line. So the first thing you could do, we want to reflect this shape in this mirror line here. You could get your tracing paper. Now you can put your tracing paper exactly on, on a, the edge of a square and exactly on the mirror line. Then what you can do is you can trace out your shape. So trace out your shape here. As follows. Okay, and then what you can do is you can flip over your tracing paper. So flip over your tracing paper from left to right and then put the tracing paper exactly on the edge just like you uh, had it before but flipped over. So uh, remember it was along this line and just exactly like that. And then what you can do is you can mark in the corners or the vertices take away your tracing paper and then fill in your lines as follows. The original shape is called the object and the new shape is called the image. Now another way you could have done this without using tracing paper is clearly just to say well this corner is one away one straight across from the mirror line so if I go one the other side I'll get to this point. Similarly this is one away from the mirror if we go one that way of the mirror I get there and this is one two three four five away so one two three four five away gets me that corner. You could have done that as well. It's just that the tracing paper method can be quite useful when you um, uh, are doing uh, lines that aren't vertical or horizontal, which I'll see later. Okay, so here we go. So let's have a go at another one, example two. Let's reflect this shape in this line here. So get your tracing paper, put your tracing paper exactly on the edge like that. Now, a little tip I didn't say before, just mark the edge of your tracing paper so it helps you when you flip it over. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw in our trace. So our trace is here. like that, okay, and we're going to flip this over now, so we're going to flip this over like that, and now I'm going to put my tracing paper just on the mirror line, just like I had before, and in between the two little corners that I marked off the edge of my tracing paper, so like that, and therefore that would be uh, where my new shape would be, and I'd mark in the corners like this, I delete, I get rid of my tracing paper and I'd fill in the sides as follows. And the original shape is called my object again, and my new shape is called the image. Okay, and there we go. Now, another way I could have done it, I could have just counted that this is one, two, 
three, four away from the mirror line. So if I go one, two, three, four away, I'll get there. Similarly, this is one, two, three, four away. So if I go one, two, three, four away, I'll get there. And you could have done the same with that corner. Okay, but the tracing paper method is foolproof. So uh, perhaps in the exam, just when you're avoiding, trying to avoid all the mistakes that you might possibly make under pressure, um, it might be a good way to use. And in particular with diagonal lines. So, so we're going to rotate shape C um, in the dotted mirror line here. So let's get our tracing paper out. And this time we're going to make the one of the sides of our tracing paper exactly in line with the mirror line like that just ex it must be exactly in line like that and mark off the edges of your mirror line here and here just so you know when you're lining up the other side once you flipped it where to line it up okay so what we're going to do then is going to trace out our shape onto the tracing paper as follows and then what we're going to do is we're going to flip the shape so highlight all this and now we're going to flip the shape and I'm going to just place it here so it's in line with my mirror line there and I can see where the corner should be so one corner's here, one's here, 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 here and here take that away and then I would just fill in the lines as follows. Okay, and that's my new shape, which is my image, and this is my old shape, which is my object. And you could have counted, you could have said that's one, two, three up there, so one, two, three across here, although it gets slightly more complicated in diagonal lines. So I'd advocate using uh, tracing paper and flipping the diagram. Okay. Now, the next thing you need to be able to do is reflect shapes when you're not given the line drawn on the page, you have to draw the line yourself. Here are the graphs uh, you need to be able to know, or the equations of lines you need to be able to know. You need to be able to identify the uh, x-axis. Sometimes they will say reflect it in the x-axis. This is x, this is y, and so this here is your x-axis that's your x-axis and similarly this is your y-axis there so if they ask you to reflect it in the y-axis they are asking you to reflect it in the, uh, the vertical line there okay now the other things they might ask you to reflect it is in the line say x is 4 or x is equal to negative 3 now all you've got to do for that is uh, if you want to plot these, if you want a way of remembering it, just take two points where the x number is 4, like 4, 1, and 4, I don't know, 8. Plot those, 4, 1 is there, and 4, 8 is here, and you can clearly see what the line's going to look like. The line's going to go through those two points, like that. So the line x is 4 is a vertical line, that's x is 4. Now, can you guess what x is negative 3 is? Well, it's going to be over here, isn't it? x is negative 3 is going to be this line here. So, um, sometimes you're asked to reflect them in the line x is a number, and x is a number of vertical lines. Now, if you were to guess what y is equal to 4 and y is equal to negative 2 would be, maybe you're thinking now horizontal lines. Well, indeed, you'd be right. If you want to check, just take two points where y is 4. Let's say 1, 4, and let's say, I don't know, negative 3, 4. 1, 4 is here, negative 3, 4 is here, and it would go through those two points. So y is 4 would be the horizontal line where all the y coordinates are 4. So y is 4, and similarly, y being negative uh, 2 here would just be that line as follows. So y equals lines are horizontal lines. The last two you need to know is when y is equal to x. Now y is equal to x and when the x and y coordinates are the same, like 3, 3, and I don't know, negative 3, negative 3. So 3, 3 would be here, negative, negative 3 would be here, and it would go through those two points like that. 
and the diagonal line like that is y is x. So what would y is negative x be? Well, it would be where the x and y coordinates are the same number but different signs. Like, for example, 1, negative 1, and, I don't know, 3, negative 3. So 1, negative 1 is here, 3, negative 3 is here, and it would be like that. And that would be the line y is equal to negative x. So we may be asked to reflect in the x-axis here, the y-axis along here, a line x is a number which would be vertical lines uh, uh, where the x coordinate is that number, horizontal lines where the y coordinate is whatever number it's equal to, y is x a diagonal line going uh, up as you go from left to right and y is negative x a diagonal line going down as you go from left to right. So they're the lines we need to know and so let's try an example. Reflect the shape C in the line X is 3. X is 3, what does that look like? Well, let's pick two uh, points where X is 3. I don't know, 3, 5, and I don't know, 3, negative 2. So 3, 5 would be 3 across, and 5 up would be here. And 3, negative 2, 3 across, negative 2 here. So clearly, the X is 3 line is a vertical line, and where the X coordinate is always equal to 3. So there we go. Y is equal, uh, X is equal to 3, and uh, I'm going to uh, reflect that, so I'm going to put my tracing paper over the page as follows. I'm going to mark out where my tracing paper uh, was at the edges, and I'm going to trace over my shape. So there's my shape here, I'm going to trace that as follows. Okay, and then I'm going to highlight this, and I'm going to flip it, and put that exactly over here, and that tells me where my corners are. So I'm here, 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 and here, and you can just therefore take your tracing paper away and fill in the edges of your uh, image shape, so it'd be like this. Okay, and there we go. And let's have a go at one more. We're going to reflect the shape in the line y is negative x. So this is a diagonal line where the x and y coordinates are, are one, they're the same number, but one's negative of the other. So for example, I don't know, 3, negative 3 would be in there. And I don't know, f uh, si like what's this, 2, 4, 6, 8, negative 8 would be in there, something like that. So, let's plot a line between these points as follows, and that is the line y is equal to negative x, and we're going to reflect this shape. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our tracing paper over this shape, and we're going to turn it so it's exactly in line with our mirror line, like that. Mark off the edges on your page of where your tracing paper uh, was touching the mirror line. And now we're going to trace our shape. So let's trace that shape. Like that. I'm going to highlight this. And now we're going to flip our shape. Tracing paper over and match it up to the edges. And I can see that the corners of my shape are in the following places. Take away my tracing paper and then fill in the missing sides. Like that. And that is my new shape. Remember, my old shape is called the object. My new shape is called the image. OK, so we've done all the types of examples we can do. Um, let's just um, uh, have a go at an exam question. So here's an exam question. Uh, pause the video, take a second to have a go, and I'll show you what the right answer should be. Okay, we have to draw the line x is negative 2. x is neg neg negative 2 was that line there. 
and then I would have filled in my shape. My shape is three away, so it'd be three away here. And it would have been here, here, and it actually seems in this case to go off the page. That's a strange exam question, but that's it there. Um, it's a, it, this would have been the reflection in that line as follows. And the next question, have a go, pause the video, have a go. I'll go through in a few seconds. Okay, so we're on a reflect triangle Q in the line Y is equal to X. So what we do is we put our tracing paper over the shape as follows. So we line it up perfectly, mark out the edges of our tracing paper, draw in our shape, like that, highlight the whole lot. Then we would want to flip this that we would flip it over and match up to the other edge. We'd put in our corners as follows, and then we would mark in our new shape, like so. And at the end, make sure you read the question carefully. It says label the new triangle C. You must make sure you label that C. And we're done there. That's everything you need to know on how to perform uh, reflections uh, in uh, with a line drawn on the page or with a line that you have to draw yourself. Thanks loads for watching.